The number of people employed in Atlantic City declined by 8,000 in the last year. So did the rateable tax base by almost $3 billion. So the property tax bill on people left is going up a wallet-crushing 47 percent. The Assembly, Commerce, and Economic Development Committees voted on a bill that would make Atlantic City an urban enterprise zone and cut sales and use taxes in half. One of its sponsors is Assemblyman Vincent Mazio. He joins us now from Trenton. Thank you for being with us. Nice to be here, Mary Alice. What would creating a UEZ, an urban enterprise zone, mean for Atlantic City? Well, I think what the, the big important part about this bill is that we have 8,000 unemployed for because the casinos closed. This would give tax incentives to private businesses to hire Atlantic City residents to come and work in their businesses. How does creating an urban enterprise zone square with current proposals um, to help shore up Atlantic City finances? I'm thinking of the appointment of emergency managers and the pilot program, but let's talk about the emergency managers first. Well, uh, I think the first, first and foremost, before the emergency managers were appointed by the governor, these bills were in motion, so, you know, we, we tried to put a lot of different bills together as far as trying to help Atlantic City, as you read about the uh, pilot program. Uh, this is just a bill to incentivize businesses come to invest in Atlantic City. Um, also, it, you know, it's connected to a 3.5 percent sales tax, which people will, commas, will come to Atlantic City so they'll shop and, you know, it'll put people back to work. And that's that's what our goal is right now because... As you know, there's four uh, closing of the casinos aren't coming mm -hmm. back. So I think the emergency manager would probably be uh, have this with open arms. Uh, the pilot program is payment in lieu of taxes. How would that work? Well, the payment of lieu of taxes, um, right now it's based on revenue from the casinos. The proposal is $120 million that would be given from the casinos right directly to Atlantic City uh, budget. Um, also, there's there's other money involved, but it's a, a steady revenue flow of, of tax dollars to Atlantic City so they know exactly what the casinos have to pay and, and, and uh, the casinos know exactly what they have. You know, if you look back last year, it was uh, the casinos paid $210 million. This year, they're geared to pay $145 million, and that's without tax appeals. So the pilot program stops the tax appeal, and we have a steady revenue uh, source for Atlantic City and, for that matter, Atlantic County. Will all of these proposals, the pilot program, the urban enterprise zones, the emergency manager, be enough to shore up Atlantic City's tax situation? Well, I think the, the other side of the equation is that Atlantic City government has to make their cuts. Uh, you know, we have to make sure that uh, they're on board, which I know the mayor and the council is trying to work together in unison with the emergency manager and with all of us. So um, if... If they make their cuts with the government and then the school makes their cuts and the legislation gets passed, I think it's a good way to, as the uh, saying goes, stop the bleeding and we can move on to trying to get more investments into Atlantic City. Okay, thank you very much for being with us, Assemblyman Vincent Mazio. You're welcome. Thank you.